Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to Sparkling Future. In the series of data structures and algorithms, in the last video we have seen what is doubly linked list and how it differs from singly linked list. In today's video, we will see how to add an element at the end of the doubly linked list. So in this series, we will see multiple methods about what all operations that we can do on doubly linked list so that it will become like a base for all of you to solve a major problems. Now let's get into the Python coding. So I am searching as Python online compiler and I am taking one random link. We have a lot of Python online compilers. We can use them for hands-on. So actually before going to here, so what are we doing as append method, right? So this is the doubly linked list and we wanted to add an element at the end of the doubly linked list, correct? So that is what is the appending means. So what steps we have to do for that? Here we have it. We have head, tail and these are the nodes and these are the next and previous pointers here. Now in the previous videos like when we were working on the singly linked list what we have seen? We have seen the steps for first of all in this pointer we have to find the last element and after the last element we will add, I mean assign the pointer to the newly added uh, node and then this will be pointing to the none. This is what we have done before correct for the singly linked list. So now it is going to be the same but one extra step that we are going to do is assigning back to the previous node correct the pointer which should point to the previous node from the current node. This will be one extra step that we are going to take in the doubly linked list. Okay. So this is the ideal scenario like what we are trying. And in the previous videos, right, we also saw the corner cases. In this particular doubly linked list, what corner cases we can expect for append means, for example, there is no element in the list at all. Correct. That time we should just uh, return none so that it the, the, the code will not break in between. Correct. So now let's build this. So once again, I am iterating. So appending means adding an element at the end of this doubly linked list. So what we are going to do here currently the last tail pointer. Yeah, tail pointer. I mean to say tail should be moved to this end. That point we did not uh, repeat the last time, right? So tail should be pointing to the last one after the append. And we will, uh, the, this pointer will be point pointed to this newly created node and from the newly created node at the end we will we will be pointing this to none and one previous uh, one pointer to be pointing to the previous node so that it will become like a doubly linked list now let's code for this so i have just picked up one random online python compiler so now as uh, before we will first write the class node because whenever we wanted to create a node, right? Here node means the, the value 6 that which I have showed you here. This single thing is called as node, okay? So now in this class, we will create, write the constructor for creating the node. And here we have, as I mentioned in the previous video, we have three things to be considered. One is the data which is present in this node and one is the next pointer and one is the previous pointer right three components that we have to consider so that's why here i am saying that self dot data equal to data self dot previous equal to pre as of now it is none because there will not be anything because here we are just creating the an empty node okay and self dot next also will become none here Okay, now this is the node class so that whenever we call this class, one node will be ready, readily generated for you. Now let's create a class for doubly linked list. Okay, now let's create the constructor. So we will just define the head uh, self dot head equal to none. That is because 
uh, we, we are just considering, we are just starting this, correct? We are just instantiating this with, with the, uh, some, uh, uh, like we are saying that there is no element as of now, okay? And then we will write the append method here in this class. So, for writing the append method, we need the data. Means what value you wanted to append at the end of the double linked list, correct? That's why we have taken like this. Now, as we have assigned self head to none here, which means that here we can check it, correct? Uh, whether we have, uh, like is there any element present in the double linked list or not? So, how can we check that? If self dot head is none. Correct? If it is none means there is no element present. So, what we have to do? We have to add the newly created. Uh, okay, new node we have to have, right? So, let's uh, add this new node here. In the append method, we are creating a new node so that it will be created with the value that we are passing. What is this data is nothing but the node value in the doubly linked list. So here what we are saying, if the head is none, nothing is there already, then we are assigning new node head to the new node. Self.head, head means head pointer to the new node. Okay. Now else, if already some elements are there, then what we have to do? We have to move the value like as I said right we have to first it, the pointer will be in, in the head and we have to traverse through the end through end of the list and then we have to add the element there so that's why we are taking one temporary variable called current so that from head we can start because we have the only uh, uh, what to say considering for only variable we have the we know only head now correct so if you see this code we know only head we don't have any other information that's why we are consider we are taking that self dot head to the variable called correct if this is a temporary variable you can name it anything okay now what we have to do this is the current so we have to traverse through the entire lift until it is none it is reaching none correct so now let's add because it has to loop through each and every node that is present in the double link list so i'm using while here so while dot while current dot next is not none means until this while should go until it is not none so first what it will do it will have one value as one and then it will check the next pointer it is two so then it will again uh, loop through it is three then again in the next loop it is four in the next loop it is five and finally it is none then it will break correct because uh, i mean when until it is not none it will just go to the next element correct it has to go to the next element so what we have to say until this loop we have to go to the next element until it is not none but it is none correct it the, when you come to the end it is none so it should come out of that while loop when you come out of the while loop you will come to know you have reached the end of the double link list okay now we know we have we are we have reached the end and we are end of we are at the end of the double link list so what we have to do we have to assign the current dot next to the new node because at, that's where we wanted to add this new element correct we have reached to this position and this new node to be added at the end of the double link list now we have uh, assigned that none to the this current node this current node we have assigned uh, current dot not dot next means to the none now we have to as discussed right we have to assign the previous node also correct so what we will say current dot previous which means that the last but one element for that we will put we will assign the current value to that whatever is the current node currently it will be at the last node correct that we will assign it to the previous as the previous node so this is always just imagine the way that how you are setting up the pointers between the nodes okay now with this what will happen to the last node it will be done and then that's it. We can add because this is what we have to do, right? We have to assign this back to this one and then uh, we have to assign it to the 
previous node so i think we have reached the end of the code but we need uh, this display list for uh, printing the uh, this one right uh, w link list so now let's say print list and uh, we pass the self because without this we will not be able to see the uh, like uh, what are the elements and all that right so that's why so final uh, first we are taking the current equal to self dot head because that's where we have we have to start the iterations so we are saying while current so it's actually similar to this while uh, command okay in a different way you can write it in either way now we are saying that print current dot data correct we wanted to print the current the data second it should not be within the quotes then we will not we will see only the uh, what to say the string instead of the data and then at the end we should have uh, some space correct or you can just write like this also but it will be confusing for you because this is a doubly linked list not the singly linked list okay now for this we are printing it but after i mean for every iteration we should go to the next element correct like in for loop how we will write uh, this for uh, i equal to 1 i plus plus right so we need that and then finally we call print okay then let's uh, create one doubly linked list okay doubly linked list equal to the, uh, this is the object for uh, uh, what is that above we have written this class right this class so for that we are creating one uh, object and through the object we will try to append some values got it so let's add some four items okay then finally we say dll dot print list okay now let's run this okay now you can see four elements one two three four are added to the linked list means appended now if you wanted to append another element then we can very well create i mean call another uh, append method with another element and if we just run this you can see five will be appended at the end of the doubly linked list okay is this clear okay hope this is useful for you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you